how on earth can this hold this in place? Hi, I'm Dave Doodling, Education Director at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. In this story from the Space Vault, we'll look at how eight sturdy nuts and bolts held space shuttle securely in place. As you might expect, rockets don't just sit on the launch pad. They have to be held in place. Space Shuttle posed a special challenge. After months of studies in the early 1970s, NASA chose a unique design, a winged orbiter mounted on the side of its fuel tank hanging between two solid rocket boosters. In flight, thrust from the orbiter's three main engines and the two boosters pushed the tank upward between them. But on the ground, the orbiter, weighing up to 120 tons fully loaded, indeed was hanging off the side of the tank and trying to flip the whole vehicle onto its back. Even more complicated was the matter of moving it to the launch pad. Starting and stopping would make the whole thing wobble back and forth, even if the crawler did hit only one mile per hour. Even more striking was booster twang. Yes, twang. As the engines powered up, they pushed on one side of the shuttle, tilting the stack a few degrees until the launch platform support posts sprang back. Ground tests in 1978 showed that the twang effect was bigger than expected, so NASA had to delay launch by about a second. When the stack came back to center, the solid rocket boosters ignited and the hold down bolts did their job. They broke. So how does this all come together and then apart? The shuttle solid rocket boosters had strong steel casings and even the two million pounds of solid fuel added some strength. The entire mass of the shuttle rested on the booster aft skirts. These enclosed the rocket nozzle plus a power steering system. Each skirt had four feet with holes to take stud bolts, 3.5 inches wide and 28 inches long. A stud bolt is a rod threaded at both ends. The first step in assembling the shuttle was mounting the booster's aft segment on the mobile launch platform. Crews then inserted stud bolts through the skirt and platform and attached nuts at each end. And it was more than finger tight. Any free motion and something like this could happen. So they were torqued down. Tight. Very tight. This held the shuttle in place, but now you had a new problem. Tension. That means that when the stud bolt is freed, it will rebound downward, like a shot from a cannon, damaging the flame trench and possibly the shuttle as well. So NASA added a bucket filled with sand to absorb the shock and stop the bolt. But how do you unscrew the nut? You don't. Like Alexander the Great with a Gordian knot, you just slice through it. Instead of a sword, NASA's standard detonators did the job. Each upper nut had two holes that held an NSD. Two ignition harnesses ensured detonation. This fractures the nut, freeing the bolt and letting the shuttle start skyward. But what if they don't break loose? 23 launches experienced a total of 25 stud hang-ups, where the released stud does not clear the aft skirt in the first two-tenths of a second after T0. Part of the problem is that as the shuttle rises, its main engines also push it slightly forward. When this happened, the booster pulled the stud and nut apart. Another danger is nut reclamping, where the fractured halves of the nuts will bounce off the retaining cap and clamp down on the stud. In 2002, one firing circuit failed completely, but the other worked. In 2008, debris escaped the capture bucket and bounced into the flame trench. Several changes were made over the years, including a major redesign for the last 10 launches. The story of the frangible nuts is not over. NASA recovered and recycled boosters after each shuttle mission. Most of the hold-down gear was discarded because of the stress it endured. The nuts, though, were recycled as bookends, like this one on loan to us from NASA and presented to the flight crew as souvenirs of their launch. Even the basic design is being recycled. NASA's space launch system, which will send humans back to the moon, is based on the space shuttle tank and boosters, including the booster hold-down studs. Stand by for that launch next year. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more stories from the Space Vault.